NASA investigates the effects of space radiation on the body. One of NASA's biggest challenges in designing a mission to Mars is how to protect astronauts on the long space journey. NASA's Human Research Program is currently researching how space radiation affects the human body. Space radiation has enough energy to violently collide with nuclei that make up spacecraft shielding and human tissue. The collisions cause both the shielding nuclei and space radiation to break up into several different types of new particles, known as secondary radiation. NASA is currently focusing on the effects of galactic cosmic rays on the human body. GCRs that come from supernovas outside the solar system are the most harmful to the body. One of the main difficulties is that it's hard to simulate space radiation on Earth. Lab doses of radiation could be stronger and given for a shorter time than actual conditions in space. Stay tuned for more space stuff. Fleet of 50 nanosatellites could tour 300 asteroids. One small step for man to boldly go to infinity and beyond. A European team is proposing to send a fleet of 50 nanosatellites to capture images and gather spectroscopic data from asteroids. The nanosatellites would go on a 3.2-year mission into the asteroid belt beyond Mars and then back to Earth. Each spacecraft could perform a flyby of six or seven asteroids from a distance of 1,000 kilometers using a telescope to take photos and a near-infrared spectrometer to analyze the asteroid's makeup. Rather than being fitted for high-grain antennas, the data would be stored internally on flash memory and then transferred back to Earth at the end of the mission. The fleet would be powered by electric solar wind sails. Each craft would be attached to an e-sail by a 20-kilometer tether. A large asteroid will be whizzing by soon. A whopper of a space rock is set to get up close and personal to Earth in the coming days. But fear not, it's not on a collision course. So no asteroid apocalypse yet. An asteroid known as 2014 JO25 is roughly 650 meters across. That's the height of the world's second tallest building or the length of six NFL football fields. NASA says the massive rock will pass Earth at a safe distance of 1.8 million kilometers, or about 4.6 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The asteroid will approach Earth from the direction of the Sun and is set to fly past on April 19th. With a surface twice as reflective as the Moon, the asteroid will still be visible in the sky for those using only small telescopes. The rock will only be visible for one or two nights. It's a rare opportunity for astronomers to study the massive specimen, which won't be this close again for at least 500 years. New Horizons is two years away from its next target. NASA's New Horizons mission is just two years away from its next target, a small object in the Kuiper Belt that orbits the Sun nearly a billion miles beyond Pluto. New Horizons is currently speeding at a velocity of 14.32 kilometers per second relative to the Sun. It's almost halfway between Pluto and its next target, a Kuiper Belt object called 2014 MU69. 2014 MU69 measures between 25 kilometers to 45 kilometers across. Scientists are not sure how bright the object is. Its albedo reading, the measure of how much light reflects from a surface, may be 0.04 or slightly brighter. By comparison, Pluto has an albedo reading between 0.49 to 0.66, while Mars has a reading of 0.15. New Horizons is scheduled to fly by 24MU69 on January 1, 2019, making it the most distant object humans have ever explored. New Horizons was designed to fly well past Pluto. It carries extra hydrazine fuel for a Kuiper Belt object flyby, and its communication system is designed to work far beyond Pluto. World's largest aircraft, the Strato Launch, nears completion. Seattle-based company Vulcan Aerospace announced that its Strato Launch Systems, an air launch platform for rockets, is close to completion. The Strato Launch has a wingspan of 385 feet and measures 238 feet in length. The six-engine aircraft is currently the world's largest. The Strato Launch is designed to carry rockets weighing up to 275 tons. It would take off from a runway with the rocket attached to its belly and release the rocket when it reaches 35,000 feet. The rocket then fires its own engine and travels towards its orbit. 
Strato Launch is designed to make air rocket launches into low Earth orbit a routine commute. The Strato Launch systems are expected to be completed by the end of this year and is estimated to start commercial services before 2020.